Hafez Omar, an art activist, remembers the first time he was inspired by political art. It was during the First Intifada in 1987, when Palestinians rose up in mass popular civil disobedience, aimed at ending the occupation. International political pressure faced by Israel convinced it to begin peace talks with the Palestinians, which led to the Oslo Accords, a deal to create a two-state solution. That never materialized, and life under Israeli occupation continues till this day. Hafez's art aims to challenge the Israeli narrative and attempts to block their voices on social media. There's a lot of lies ha going around. There's a lot of illusion they're trying to put into people's uh, heads, especially the new generations, those generations that didn't live the second intifada or didn't see all the aspects of, of the occupation. Our role as artists, as people who can, you know, deliver messages is to show them, is to tell them the truth, tell them their history, tell them their reality as it is. More than half of the Palestinian population is under the age of 30, and they've never known anything else other than living under Israeli occupation. They've also never seen this promise that was made to previous generations by the Oslo Accords, and that is an independent state. We look out at a world built on division and privilege, Salem Barahmeh started an online video campaign called Uncivilized. And told you you are unworthy. It focuses on the nuances of language when it comes to oppression and human rights abuses. The concept behind Uncivilized is not just about Palestine, but it's a global thing. It's about how there's been double standards and really a, a racist approach in the way brown and black people have been covered for a very long time. Just look at the way Palestine is covered by Western media. Many Palestinian youngsters we spoke to say the resistance against Israeli occupation is no longer one-dimensional and has moved beyond only protesting on the streets. Changing the narrative is not going to liberate Palestine on its own, but it's such an important part because it's about redefining a new reality that moves us beyond Oslo, which really entrenched apartheid and the one-state reality we live under. So it's about defining the future, defining what we want and how we get there, and to leave the past behind. With Palestinian youth increasingly disenfranchised with life under occupation, they're finding their voice in more ways than one, and to challenge those in power. And step, they say, in holding Israel accountable. Zara Khairat, Al Jazeera, Ramallah in the occupied West Bank.